Hello, children of God. Today, I have something for you. I've got a special surprise in here. I'll bet you'd like to know what it is, right? There's something I'm gonna share with you in this special bag. But I'm not gonna show it to you just yet. You'll have to wait. You might be wondering how long you're gonna have to wait, right? Well, we'll see. You know, maybe we should talk about something else to kind of pass the time, right? That might make it a little bit easier to wait for this wonderful, fabulous surprise that's inside of here. I'll just, I'll just set it aside over here. We can think about something else for a little bit. You know, waiting is never easy, right? Well, I mean, sometimes you would want to wait, like if there's something you don't want to happen, maybe you're in the waiting room at a dentist's office. But usually, when we're waiting for things, we're waiting for things that we want to happen. And it can be hard. It can be hard to be patient. It can be hard to have peace. And it can be hard to wait, especially if we don't know how long something is going to take. If we don't know how long it's going to be until we see the special surprise. Or maybe, Say you go out to a restaurant and you're really super hungry, but you don't know when the food is gonna get there. Well, that can seem like it takes forever because you really want it to happen. But in those times, what do you do? How do you cope with the waiting? Well, sometimes while we're waiting for things, it can be helpful to, to do something else. Maybe to keep busy or keep distracted or to just work on other things. And then the time goes by and all of a sudden what you're waiting for, well, there it is. And great things are certainly worth waiting for. Well, we happen to be in a season of waiting. We're entering this season of waiting because, well, it's Advent season now. And Advent is when we prepare and we patiently wait. Well, what are we waiting for again? Glad you asked. We are, of course, waiting for Jesus. Advent means coming. And when we go through this season of the church, we prepare for the coming of Jesus. Now, you might think of it as preparing for Christmas. Well, of course, that too. Because when we celebrate the coming of Jesus, we celebrate his birth, how he came to earth. And we wait for that. And we remember how People in the Bible waited for this Messiah who had been promised. They waited a long time for him to come, and they didn't know exactly when that was going to happen. But while they waited, they prayed, they listened to God, and they did things that would help them as they waited and paid attention to how God would help them as they waited. Well, Christmas can be tricky to wait for. Sometimes you want it to happen right now, but while you wait, maybe you sing songs, maybe you make cookies. You do things that occupy your time until poof, Christmas is here. But Advent isn't just about celebrating that Jesus was born. Well, of course, that's a big part of it. And that's what we're waiting to honor. But there's more to it than that. Because guess what? That coming wasn't just once. Jesus has promised that he will come again. Just as certainly as cats will knock things off of counters. But Jesus is coming back. He's told us that. And we are waiting for that second coming. We are waiting for when he will come again. And when will that happen? We don't know. Because that's another thing that Jesus promised is that nobody knows. The time will just come and surprise us. We want to be ready, we want to be prepared, we want to be eager and excited for him to come back, but we don't know when it will be. So that waiting can seem like it takes a long time, can seem confusing, can seem like, what is it that we're waiting for? But we're waiting for something wonderful. We are waiting for Jesus. And while we wait, well, what do we do? Do we just sit around and stare at the clock and hope that it happens soon so we don't have to really do anything? No, of course not. While we wait, well, while we wait, 
we stay in God's presence. We remember that he's still with us now. We might not see him with our eyes, but he is here. He is around us, and we can worship him and praise him while we wait. We can sing songs. We can go to church. We can help other people. We can love other people. We can hug our cats. We can celebrate holidays. All the things that we do, we do while we're waiting. God wants us to live our lives serving him and in honor of him. And so, as we continue to long for that second coming, as we continue to be excited about Jesus, we can live for him now, too. That's the great news, is that we're not just waiting for one day, we're living now. We can't just continually count down the days till Christmas and not do anything else. No, we enjoy the time now, too, the season that we're in now. So while we wait, we live in now. We live and work for God. We glorify him and praise him and love him and serve him. And know that one day something glorious awaits us. Something better than Christmas candy or Christmas stockings or Christmas presents or anything else that we can imagine. Jesus is coming. That is fantastic news. And while we wait, we hope, we pray, and we live. What a great thing to look forward to and to await. Oh, and this too. Well, why don't we say a prayer and then we can see what's in our fabulous surprise. Dear God, thank you for coming to earth. Thank you for giving us Jesus. Thank you for Advent season. Help us to be patient as we wait for great things and help us to live in you as we await your return. Thank you for your love. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, there's one way that's over. Let's see what we've got in here. Well, what do you know? A whole bunch of delightful candy to share around as we wait for more good things to come. Now, while you are waiting, keep working. Keep living and loving and glorifying God in everything you do living in his presence and rejoicing that he has come and will come again. So go make some disciples. Come back again. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.